What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics and I just bought a bunch of really big slabs from Bry's Comics. You know Bry? I'm New Jersey, he's the other side of the country, and he actually cut especially a good deal for me to kind of jumpstart things over here in New Jersey for Mint Hunter Comics. So shout out to Bry, that was really cool. He didn't have to do that, so that's really admirable. admirable. I wanted to show you some of the books that I got. And some of them are pretty crazy, like this Amazing Spider-Man 97. That is the famous drug cover. It didn't get approved by the Comics Code Authority right there. So hopefully you can see that in the shop. But that is a 9-6 white pager, which is kind of ridiculous. So that's pretty sweet. West Coast 45, first white vision. When are we getting him again? The first Eddie Brock? No, I'm not talking about 298. I'm talking about Web of Spider-Man 18. Pete gets pushed onto the train tracks. I feel bad for those that invested into this because this is a fraction of the price that it once was. Still, this is a real affordable, nice, solid key these days. Heir to the Empire number one. Star Wars, Heir to the Empire number one. First Thrawn, awesome cover. Doesn't get much better than that. First Mara Jade, the wife of Luke. I've got a couple She-Hulks. It never hurts to have a couple 9.8 She-Hulks in your comic book shop or antique shop. Having two is better than one. This one, even though it's a 9.8 white pager, would surprise you by the value. It's a hair over $100. Pretty affordable for some 1978 goodness. This is one of the only copies that exist in a 9.8 Canadian price variant right there. That's pretty wild. Newsstand, obviously, all Canadian price variants are newsstand. A first Lockheed, Kitty Pride's Dragon. I've also got an older label, which means I probably am gonna update it, but we do have a Joker, number one, 9.4. Very solid grade, very desirable book for a very Marvel heavy buy. It's nice to get my DC. I also have the second print of Hulk 377. You may or may not know the third print's the most expensive one, but the second print is more expensive than the first, so keep an eye out. Here we go, first Rocket Raccoon, white pages, slightly older label, but it is a 9.8 white pager newsstand. That I am going to get reholdered. I, I like having that in the nice new slab. Thanks again, Bri. That's really awesome. This one, we'll see if I can get this in time for the uh, Roy Thomas signing, maybe. First Luke Cage. 9.2 white pages. I don't know if I risk that one. That's pretty amazing. That's going to look great on the wall. And this one's a personal collection book, so this one's not for sale. Doctor Strange number four. I found out about this book in more recent years, and I'm of the opinion that it is one of the best looking Bronze Age comics of all time. Incredible cover. Frank Brunner, man, wow. All right, then we got a Doctor Strange number one. It's gonna be hard for me to sell this one, but a 9-8 with white pages. Wow, white pages on that is crazy. First Silver Dagger. That's pretty wild, so. We're about to have a string of new stands, like this Captain N, the Game Master, 1990. This is the first Summus from Metroid Prime, or Metroid, I should say, and I don't know if I can sell that one. That might just have to be a personal collection book. Newsstand white pager of Darkwing Duck. And that's got a little heat right now because Dynamite's got a run of that going right as we speak. In fact, it is on my pull list. Just a casual 9-8 of the first Rogue. This is a signed copy by Michael Golden, and uh, that's pretty awesome right there. Maybe we'll do the reholdering, as you know, because of that whole craziness early this year. Reholdering is really slow, so I don't know if I want to do that. First, Scott Lang right there. First appearance of Scott Man. Scott Man, yeah, first appearance of Ant-Man, number two, Scott Lang, from the MCU. Before he's Ant-Man, that's his first appearance. First appearance of Rose, much more affordable here. Uh, but it is the newsy copy. Newsy copies are going to have a slight premium over their direct counterparts, especially this one. This book may be cold, but comic book lovers and Spidey lovers still get this one. 9-8 white page or first Madam Web. 
In fact, we may be seeing historic lows for this book, so it might be a good time to get it. I'm gonna end it, and then we're gonna show you the brand new wall in the antique shop with the first clone. There it is, Ben Riley goodness, ASM 14996 white pages. All this and much more is gonna be ready at the antique shop by the time this video airs. Let's head in and show you. All right, so guys, let's get some stuff on the wall. It's gonna get rotated constantly. I figured we would put the She-Hulk 98 right here. This is the under $500 row. This is the under $200 row. We've got a duplicate. I'll probably just put that with the, with the rest of the tape. Okay, so this one actually comes out to like 11.5. So because it's over $1,000, that one's going to come to the case, so I'll put a pin in that. Actually, same with this one. I can't put it on the wall. That one's going to go in the case, and same with this one. Ironically, the last three books I just showed, I also want to get reholdered. So maybe I'll get them reholdered and then put in the case. I don't know. I'll put it on the wall just to show you, but this one is going to be one that I reholder. And why don't we go ahead and plop it next to our friend Harley Quinn 98. So we've got a web of Spider-Man 18. It's about 190 bucks. Because my like under 200 and under 100 spot is filled, I'll end up just plopping this on the slab table. Honestly, same with this one. 230 slab table. All right, we got a big one. This is an $800 book. Let's go ahead and plop that right next to our signed copy of Showcase 22, which I need to get in the case. Young Avengers number one, it's like 170 bucks. That's gonna join us down here on the slab table. Heir to the Empire, it is just a hair over 500, so it's not gonna be in our 500 section. Why don't we go ahead and plop that with the just over 500. The Canadian price variant of Lockheed. This one's $500 on the dot. I think we'll put this one next to Joker. Second print, 230 bucks, goes to the slab table. Darkwing Duck, in a new stand, bumps the value so much that it's actually like a $400 book. So let's go ahead and put it right there. I would like to maybe do a reholder here because it's an old slab, but that Avengers Annual might have to put this up there. Uh, one thing you're probably, I'm sure there's gonna be one person that says it in the video, show the lighting right up here. Um, that is going out today. I don't, I think it's too harsh lighting for a wall and even though I'm gonna be rotating it constantly, you don't want that glaring gross awful white light against a comic. So I'm either gonna take them out and find some sort of like UV bulb or just honestly leave that no lighting in this corner because you don't want light damage. Light damage is not what we pay a lot of money for slabs. This one's 300 bucks, first Scott Lang, um, but because we're running out of room here, well, whatever. It's got George Perez custom label on there. I'll pop it up there, but it doesn't leave me much room. First appearance of Rose. It's gonna have to go to the slab pile. All right, then we have another amazing Spider-Man. We're gonna plug this on our top. This one's 1400 bucks in a newsstand. That one's gonna go to the case. All right, folks, so this is just one wall here, and this is by no means the final wall at all. I might change this completely. I know for a fact I want to add way more raws, but it just goes to show you what we're dealing with. Gorgeous. I'm going to have to make a trailer for the new shop. There's the X-Men Arcade. And we've got statues courtesy of Gem Mint. I hope to see you all there. We are open. And that's it, so why don't you follow me over and I'll show you the case. Some of our bigger stuff in the case, like our new cage, first rocket, 
First Doc Strange. We've got a little bit of room down here for Avengers Annual. Let's slide that over. Uh, this one's a maybe a reholder, but I'll put it down there for now. And then we'll do our Madam Web right in the middle like that. So all the really expensive stuff looking good in the case. I think we're looking good overall. Grand opening, because this video is live and out there, we are open. Come by Sentiment Depot, located in Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Come on by, I'd love to see you. Keep on hunting.